in this lecture we are now going to learn about collisions okay so we have learned about hashing hash table now how to remove collisions or handle collisions basically so how to handle collisions so this is your hash table let's say i take one hash of x as x square mod 10 okay so we take this example and our inputs are basically i have i take x which is from the set 1 2 3 4 till 9 okay so let's see what happens so h of 1 will be 1 square modulo 10 so it will be 1 so h of 1 will come basically here okay h of 2 will be 2 square modulo 10 so it will be 4 so it will come here so 2 will come here h of 3 will be 9 square okay 3 square so 9 3 will come here h of 4 will be 4 square modulo 10 so 16 it will come here and then you have h of 5 which is 5 square 25 modulo 10 so it will come here h of 6 will be 36 modulo 10 so 6 will also come here and here we encounter collision okay so this will be there if you have a hash table where you are using such kind of formula so h of x there is chance for h of x to be equal to h of y and then there will be collision so h of 7 will be now what 49 mod 10 so it h of 7 will come here okay h of 8 will be 64 modulo 10 so it will be 4 and 8 will come here then what happens h of 9 finally 81 modulo 10 so it's 1 so it will come here so 9 okay this is nothing so here you see in fact there were 9 elements and we had 9 cells but the thing is because we are using some hash function there were collisions and in fact 1 2 3 4 collisions were there now the thing is how to handle these collisions there must be some ways and in fact you have to handle it for a hash table to be really to be useful okay so what do we do so one idea in fact the first idea is that is known as separate chaining okay so what is separate chaining the idea is to keep a list of all elements that hash to the same value okay so we will keep a list of elements okay that all hash so like here these will all go into a link list okay so this four will maintain a pointer to a link list which will have all the elements that are hashing to this particular cell so array elements are pointers to the first node of the list so these are link lists and your array okay element points has the pointer to that link list a new item is then inserted now we said that insertion is o of one so you have a link list here and what you do just insert at the head okay so this is again o of one in link list insertion in the front is o of one so that's fine but again i think you will say that okay insertion is fine but what will happen to deletion you cannot guarantee that whatever I'm trying to search will always be in the front. In fact, search will also not be O of 1. Now, it will have something else. I have to traverse this list. I can find H of X where that link list head is, but then I have to traverse that list. Okay. So, what are the advantages? Any advantages? So, better space, space utilization for large items. Okay simple collision handling i'm able to handle collision if i was just doing that okay hash table let's say ht was the hash table and h of x 
is equal to x it will overwrite it and i cannot have something more than one so simple collision handling searching linked list overflow we can store more item than the hash table size of course because now the hash table size i can have the linked list there and i can store more deletion is quick and easy deletion from the linked list okay so this is the example and they are in fact doing the same thing from 0 to 9 they are doing okay and they are again using the hash of x is equal to x modulo 10 so 0 okay so 0 mod of 10 is 0 and your key in fact they are using what so this one is key so 1 will be will be inserted first okay because 1 modulo 10 is 1 and then we have 4 is the next input 4 modulo 10 will be 4 it will go into this linked list okay and then 9 will go 9 modulo 10 9 will come here 16 will go into 6 25 will come into 5 36 will again come here and initially 16 was there now this will become the front 36 49 comes here and it will push 9 forward 64 will push 4 forward and 81 will push 1 forward so this is the case this is your hash table these are containing these hash table contains the pointers for these linked list now you can handle collisions but the thing is we have got linked lists in each of those cells so what how to analyze this now again as we said this is the load factor ratio of the number of elements n in the hash table divided by the table size okay so that average length of the list then we can expect that should be lambda okay the number of elements by table size and of course for chaining it is it can become greater than one isn't it so for example if your hash size is just 10 and i have number of elements equal to 100 so of course in each list on an average if for random inputs you can assume it to have 10 elements each in your linked list so this is the case and what will happen now the thing is what will be the cost of insertion the insertion is still o1 isn't it and you have search so what will be the cost first will be h of x i need to find then i will get the pointer to the link list where my element will be there so that link list has length lambda on an average so your search will now become the time for calculating h of x plus calculating traversing this list which can be o of lambda in the worst case okay so this will be there and your deletion also basically you have to traverse this linked list so this is the for ch separate chaining and now someone asked that okay what is it really useful so what are the problems so of course the problem is this is not a simple data structure now it has two data structures now basically we have an array of pointers and each pointer is now having a linked list okay so this has become an array of linked list also so this is not that simple and in fact so we have some extra memory we have to use which is greater than the table size and so on so we will in the next lecture look at some other ways of storing the elements but this one is first way of handling collisions in your hash tables so i hope you understand this thanks a lot